Well, welcome back. Our Monday morning show that is full of fun continues. And we talked about food already. I think we need to shift gears and talk a little uh, brewski here this morning. What do you say, Roxanne? I would love that idea. So we're going to bring in Barry Elwonger right now, and he's going to tell us about this amazing collaboration between his beer company and a very nice resort, Stream Song, here in the Tampa Bay area. I should say a little north of the area. How you doing, Barry? Good to see you. Yeah, you as well. Barry, I, I love checking in with you because every time we spend time with you, you have something new on the hor horizon. And I feel like the ideas just keep coming out this time partnering with a resort. I mean, nothing better than a little rest, relaxation, and throw in the fabulous golf that does make up the Stream Song Resort. How did this all happen? Take us back, Barry. Yeah, well, you know we love doing things that are uh, unique, and this was uh, very natural. So Stream Song has actually been carrying our beer in their clubhouses uh, throughout the resort for years. And uh, we were talking, and uh, you know they saw some of the other um, you know, unique things that we've done out in the community and whatnot. And we're like, just started riffing. We're like, hey, I, I would love to do a beer, uh, you know, in collaboration with you guys and actually have you involved with the process all the way through. And let, let's make something fun. And it's just unequivocally Florida. And, you know, we came up with a very light lager, which makes sense for, uh, you know, the hot Florida days when you're out golfing. And then we hit it with that citrus uh, twist uh, that is, you know, absolutely just Florida at its heart. And, and then so looking at the name of the beer, Little Pain Creek, this pays homage to some of the nature in that area. Tell us about how you came up with the name. Yeah, so, you know, we're, we love our history and we love, uh, you know, paying homage to, uh, to it. So in this case, Little Pain Creek is actually the river that runs through the, uh, so it goes from the Peace River and it runs through the thousands of acreage uh, that makes up the Stream Song location. Uh, so that's really where the name uh, was derived from is just paying that. And then the backside of the can actually kind of, uh, tells the story of it as well. You know, Barry, I'm curious. When it comes to these collaborations, and we've been able to talk about things that have been similar with you in the past, obviously we know what's in it for Stream Song. They're able to, you know, be able to share your fabulous beers with their patrons. But what about you guys? Why is it important for you to be able to be out in the community and in different ways, not just at places that beer lovers frequent? It's important for us to continue to grow our, our, our market base for sure. It helps us connect with new consumers in different ways. And you know, we do a bunch of different styles of beer and you know we can't be left alone with our thoughts. So we just love to let the creativity <laughs> roam and uh, you know find what's gonna make sense and find authentic uh, ways of doing so. Like we wanna find the right beer for the right place and get people excited about craft beer. Uh, we wanna make an amazing product along the way and really, really use it as a chance for education as well as you know gaining new consumers and just staying top of mind. Okay, Barry, I'm already picturing having one of those amazing beers on the course at Stream Song, so we know we can get it there. Where can we get this beer elsewhere? Uh, so it's exclusive at our two tasting rooms in Bradenton and downtown Orlando and at Stream Song. So it's the only places you'll find it. We just launched it on Friday. So uh, I was out there for the event. It was amazing. People had a lot of fun for it, but this is going to be a product that we're running in perpetuity. So, you know, you can go out to the resort and enjoy it or swing by our tasting room and you can grab it there. Hey, what are people saying? What What are the reviews so far on Little Pain Creek? I mean, you described it awesome and I'm like, yes, definitely want to try it. What's the feedback, though, that you're able to get in the tap rooms? Oh, people are loving it. So, you know, it, it's, it's very light, which is uh, when you're having a couple of beers, when you're out playing around, mm -hmm. uh, you know, necessary. And it's just crisp and delicious, and you get that citrus twist on it, and it just, ah, it sings out there. It's made for a golf course. <laughs> how, how hard is that in terms of manufacturing that particular type of beer? What kind of went into it behind the scenes? So we collaborated with them all the way through the process. So they were involved, uh, you know, from the marketing aspect of it, from the beer, the selection of it, how we were getting to it, exactly where we wanted it to land, alcohol-wise, flavor-wise, um, truly collaboration all the way through. Um, and... Yeah, as far as the beer goes, we just wanted to make sure that it was, you know, super light, super crushable, if you will, and something that you can have a couple of in session. Uh, so we want lower alcohol on it as well um, by design. We want it to be something that you can enjoy throughout the day and uh, really just have an amazing time. 
Uh, I think that lower alcohol, I, I like that you work that in there. That's always smart if you're going to be enjoying them there out on the course. Hey, Barry, before we let you go, though, you know, I made mention to the collaborations that we've gotten to know for MotorWorks Brewing. And is the one still happening with the animal shelter? I can't help but see you and, and go there and go how much you guys do love helping the animals that are in shelters that we've been able to talk about on the show before. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we still do adoptable lager. In fact, that beer is out in distribution at this point. Um, and it's in a bunch of accounts. We're also still doing the ongoing project with the Dali Museum. So Salvador's Wit is still something that we're brewing a couple of times a year. They still have it at the uh, uh, museum available for purchase. Uh, we're still doing projects with Burn. So we get new barrels from, uh, you know, Burn Steakhouse. Um, there's a couple of other ones that are ongoing too, but, you know, we love our community involvement. We mm -hmm. love doing things that, um, you know, really establish our relationship. And we just love making fun beer. <laughs> <laughs> you just love making beer. Well, we love being able to talk to you about all of the fabulous beer that you have there at MotorWorks Brewing. Of course, check out the two tap rooms that we've already talked about or go online for more information. Barry, stay in touch, okay? Absolutely. I feel like you'll have something working like in a few weeks, you'll have something new too. I love it. I love all the work in the community. We'll take care. Okay.